Good evening. Um, so, yeah, it's nice to be back here in Rome. Uh, unfortunately, last year I couldn't be here due to injury. So, uh, it's going to be nice to see uh, some of my ex teammates and also the um, Daniele De Rossi, which uh, everybody knows he was an extraordinary player and uh, the true leader. So, I think. Um, as a, as a coach, he has uh, really good aspects to become incredible uh, coach to, in the future. And already he's doing a very good job uh, with his team now because he improved the team and he's doing a very good job at the moment. Well, I would say that there's a second chance. And in football, it's, it's really common that you get a second chance to, to try to do better, for sure. Uh, Last year we were we were really close. I think that the second leg we deserve at least one goal to, to go to the extra time, but it didn't happen. It, it's it's like that in football, but many things have changed on our side. Some of them as well for Roma. So we are expecting a very uh, demanding uh, semi-final uh, coming here to Rome. It's always fantastic atmosphere, great stadium. So it's going to be. Uh, very important, not decisive what happens tomorrow, but hopefully it goes. We get, a, we get to play our football and try to get a good result for the for next week in Leverkusen. Um, so I didn't play last year, but um, I, I watched it from the stands and of course, uh, yes, all the players and all all staff, we rem remember how it, how it was, how the game was played. And uh, of course, everybody wants to get, give them back the, this feeling. And uh, yeah, we I would say that uh, because how we played, especially the, the second game, uh, we, we deserve to go through and yeah, at the moment, uh, I would say that everybody wants to get revenge. Yeah, it's, 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 it's getting very popular, this, this enigma lately. But to reach that, we are doing so many things. And you need to be really consistent, really constant in, in the performance sense. And, you know, you need to build a, an idea how to play. And you need to build a winning mentality, a great team spirit, because not only the players that they start, the, the players that they come from the bench, they have a great impact and that means that everyone is on the boat and everyone is feeling part of, of what we are doing. If not, it, it would have been impossible to reach that far. So yeah, it's been quite a spectacular what happened in the last couple of weeks. It's been really enjoyable, but tomorrow is, is another thing. It's Europa, it's an Italian team playing in Rome. So let's see if it happens. It might happen, but it's not something that we are planning at the moment. No, but it's, it's part of the mentality, fighting till the last second. Sorry, sorry? It's part of the mentality, fighting. Yes, I would say so. It's, it's part of the mentality and it's part of uh, how we want to approach all the games. And we are so close. Uh, we have not given up. We have not given uh, big leads. And that's why we, we have had a great mentality in the last minutes, but as, as well, a great uh, level of concentration during the whole team. And that's, for me, it's the key of the success. You can play good, you can have good days, you can have not that good days, but to be able to, to be in the game and to lose your, uh, your mentality and your concentration from the little details, that's been the key to, to make us reach how far we got, but still feel a little bit farther to, to go. Well, to concede one more goal than them. For sure, that was the key. Uh, it was a very tight game, and it was really, really uh, close uh, the the first game in in Roma. So we not even a mistake, but we didn't defend uh, with the necessary aggressiveness, and we conceded that first goal. And you know, uh, it was it was hard for the for the for the second leg. But for sure, all the all the small details, we need to to defense with a lot of aggressivity. We need to be really, really compact. We need to, to be able to control the game and to be, to be able to change the tempo. So many little things that we have been working during the, the whole year. But yes, this year uh, it's, it's, uh, it's different from last year, but uh, for sure anything can happen in, in football. This is one semi-final uh, and, and hopefully we can, we can show a good level. For sure, 
for sure there were special clutches because he was an intense player. I liked I liked that part as well, so I was not afraid. And yes, I resemble what he's done as a as a player. Identify myself and now as a coach, uh, what he's uh, he's taken the role this year in in Roma in his home in his club where he was a, a great player and with the national team we played few times as well, but he was a great champion as a, as a player and for sure you see the impact that he's having on the players, the, the strong bond that he's creating with, creating with, with the players and they, they try to play, they try to have a clear idea, they are a very uh, uh, brave team when, when they have the ball, even against the ball they are very, very aggressive. So yeah, happy for him that Coaches from my generation, we are taking now the next step, and, and for sure, I, I think that uh, Daniele De Rossi in, in his hometown, he will do he will do great, and it will be great to to see him tomorrow. Uh, there are they have a great team. They have many of them, but for sure, uh, we know the qualities of the strikers, the midfielders. They are complete. Paredes, Cristante, Pellegrini, if Lukaku plays tomorrow, Sharawi, Dybala, they can play with three in the back or with four. We are prepared for different, different systems. They are flexible and they like to change position. But, but yeah, we know them pretty well and, and, and it's not going to be a surprise. For sure, we are not going to be able to surprise them because they have, they have been analyzing us. But, uh, but yeah, uh, they have very top, top players, uh, two world champions with Dybala and, uh, and uh, Paredes. We have one champion with, with Pala, but high quality players. Well, we don't know. We don't know if it's an advantage, but, but for sure, I think that tomorrow, many things we need to take, try to take control of them. Uh, and if not, Try that they don't have a very big impact in, in our game. Uh, we know how diseases they can be in, in cer certain uh, patterns that they have, uh, the quality of their players, but, but uh, waiting for, for, the, for the last moment is not an idea for us. We want to start from the, from the, first, the, from the very first minute to, to play our football, to, to compete and to show that uh, we know how to play these this big, big games. It's a big, big game tomorrow, and you need to show your, your best football, but your best uh, mentality and your best competitive level tomorrow.